Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make my simple little flip card and I'm going to be using the Hello Ladybug stamp set. So I'm using the ladybug body, the wings and the dots. I'm going to stamp the flower as well. All of, the, all of these I'm going to um, use with my scan and cut machine and get the scan and cut to fussy cut them out for me. I've already got some elements here which I'll explain in a few minutes but the pattern paper that I'm going to be using is from our 12 by 24 designer daydream this is a host pack you get 48 sheets double sided of 12 by 12 pattern paper and you can earn this for free in my stamping up shop with a qualifying order I've got my simply scrub on the side just to clean my stamps and I'm just going to stamp the images for now onto basic white cardstock. So I've stamped the body in black. I'm going to use real red for the wings. Then I'm going to use the black again for the dots or the spots I should say. I'm going to use the black memento for the spots. Just gonna to have to bring this in to me and try and get these to line up as best I can. And then I've got the flower, which I think I will stamp in granny apple green. So I'm just going to put all these three elements onto this piece of white card and get the scan and cut to cut them for me. So I've already loaded a mat onto the scan and cut machine. I'm going to put this onto the mat and then I'm going to show you how to fussy cut. I'm going to say scan. I'm going to say direct cut, temporarily save the memory of the scan into the machine and press start. That's just going to take the mat through scan the stamped images that I've stamped on this piece of white card and it's going to recognize the shapes. So there are my three shapes so I'm going to say okay I'm going to drag in the drag handles and isolate the area because obviously I'm using a cutting mat here and the scanner is so good it's going to want to pick up all the bits of debris marks that are on my mat and I don't want it to cut them. So now if you want to just cut your stamped images directly on the outline all that you would need to do here is say preview and say OK and then say OK again and cut. Now I like to cut mine with a little white border of an outline like a metal die would do. So I'm going to go into the offset and I'm going to say give me a distance of 0 0.04 around all the images and say OK, OK, select and cut and start. And this is now going to cut these three stamped images out for me. And that is how to use the direct cut facility using your scan and cut machine with your own stamped images. This would work exactly the same way if you were wanting to cut a shape out of pattern paper. You would do direct cut, scan the area, isolate it like I've just done and do exactly the same thing. So now if I remove this piece of card, so there are my three stamped images all perfectly cut out for me. So now it's just a case of me taking these off the mat and assembling my card. I'm going to be using my heart flip cutting file. So these are all the elements that you get in the cut file. 
Um, there's a heart that's the same size as the front of the card, which I don't really need to use in this instance. And there's one that's slightly smaller that's going to give a little white border. So this one I will just put on one side and maybe use in another project. But then these are all the elements. So I'm just going to turn all these over and apply some adhesive. And then I'll show you how I'm going to assemble this card. So I'm just going to use some Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue for this. I just like how Tombow works and I like how it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. So before we apply that, this is the cutting file. So basically there are two score lines. So the second score line from the left, you fold in half and burnish. And then the first score line you fold backwards. And that's your file, that's how, that's how your card is going to work. So when it opens, it kind of flips. When it's closed, it's four by seven inches. So it will fit in an envelope for a five by seven card. But as with all my scan and cut cutting files, you can resize them. So if you group all the elements together and shrink this down, you could make this smaller. But that's the beauty of buying a cutting file because you pay for it once and then you can recut it over and over and over and again in all different card stocks, colours of card, you know, pattern papers, and you can resize it bigger or smaller. Whereas if you buy a metal die to cut something like this, you can generally only ever cut one size. So that's the beauty of having a cut file. So I'm just going to open this back up again. And I'm going to put the piece of pattern paper in and I've made this so it's about a quarter of an inch smaller so you've just got a little bit of a white border. Obviously you take more time when you're gluing this down. Um, I'm just doing this you know for the video and then these two little bits are for the centre bit. So a little bit of glue there just centralise it to the centre panel and line it up with the top. And the same with the bottom. So that's what I've got now. This one I'm going to stick down flat. onto the front so it's just got a tiny little white border all the way around and then I'm going to put my flower on with my ladybug so I think I'll stick my flower down flat and I'm just going to pop it kind of like so and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the ladybug wings and pop that there and then I'm just going to flip this over and pop this onto dimensionals just put a couple of dimensionals on the back and I'm going to put this like so then I'm just going to bring in my embellishment box and just have a look for some little might use these green ones they've just all fallen out of there pop one there and a couple of bigger ones just actually on the card base like so and then you can write on the back, you can fold it in half if you want. It would probably, let's see what size, it would go into an envelope for about three and a half inches by seven if you folded it that way. Or you can just leave it as it's meant to be and it will go in a five by seven envelope. So that's how it works. You can stamp a greeting on here if you want or stamp a greeting separately and stick it on there. Um, you know, and you can write your message on the back. It's entirely up to you. So that's my heart flip card.
made using my scan and cut cutting file with the Hello Ladybug stamp set, which I sell in my Stampin' Up shop, and the pattern from the designer's Design a daydream which you can earn for free with a qualifying spend. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.